Hello everyone, I have had these pom-poms for quite a while now and today I'm going to make something funny with them. I'm going to take two of the big ones and six of the smaller ones. Then I am finding my hot glue gun and connecting it so the glue can get hot. And I am gluing these pom-poms together, as you see right here, into a cute little teddy bear. I am taking one of these small pom-poms and I'm cutting off the bottom of them. I'm holding it firm between my hands, otherwise it will unravel. And I'm gluing it on the teddy bear as the ear. And I'm doing the same with the other one here. Just remember, hold it firm, otherwise it will unravel. I have some colored pom-poms, remember you need at least two of the big ones and four smaller ones for the teddy bear. You can make the ears of polymer clay and I will show you in a minute how to do that. So you can do them in all kinds of colors if you like to. Now I'm going to show you how I'm making a small bow out of a ribbon. It's actually very simple. I make first one loop and then another loop on the other end. I'm making this one a bit bigger because that's making it easier. Then I'm just um, going around the first loop with this one and making kind of a knot with it. And then I'm just securing the bow and make it into the size I want it to have and this one needs to be really really tiny so first I'm just uh, whoops, trying to secure the uh, bow or the knot on the middle and I'm just working with it until I like it the size and the shape of it When the bow have the size I want it to, I'm just cutting off the ribbon, so these have the length that I like. And because this is a nylon ribbon, I can take this end piece and I can slightly burn it, melt the um, strings down so it won't unravel in the ends. Now I just take this little bow, some uh, super glue gel here, and I'm just gluing this little tiny bow onto the teddy bear. So I have two small circle cutters here and the one of them I actually made into a triangular shape for a nose. I uh, rolled out some black clay in a very thin setting and I am placing some cling wrap over it. And now I'm just going to use the round one for eyes and the triangular for noses. And I'm just punching out a lot of these as you can see. And then I'm just removing the excess clay in between all of these circles and triangles. Take your time with this. I also rolled out some white clay so that I can make some rabbit's ears. And I'm just showing you here how I cut them out and the way that I'm shaping them.
For the ears to the color it bears, I'm just using a bigger round cutter and cutting out some round pieces for the ears. And then I'm shaping it over a dotting tool. So just like this, and that's all there is for these ears. And then I'm just going to bake them. After baking everything, I'm taking some white paint and a small dotting tool and I'm making a white dot in each of the eyes, not the noses, but the eyes. Then I'm removing all the noses into a little container so they are safe. And I'm using a glaze for a female to glaze the eyes, all of them, and making sure that they have the glaze all over. When the glaze is all dry, I am going to glue these teddy bears together. The rabbit's ears, I'm just putting a tiny bit of glue on them and sticking them in place. So that's the ears for the rabbit. Then I am taking a tiny bit of uh, super glue, that's the super glue gel, and placing the nose, and then, whoops, and then both the eyes on this little rabbit. The little teddy bear is just getting a nose and the eyes. And the colored bears, I am cutting off the bottom of this uh, domed circle and I'm just gluing the bigger part on the head for the ears, uh, one on each side, and then of course a nose and the eyes, and that's all for the colored bears. You can use these ears for the white ones as well, or you can mix and match if you want to do that, so that's all up to you. Uh, it is endless results you can get, so just use your imaginations. So that was everything I had for you guys today. I hope you liked it. Please give it a like, showing the algorithm that you like my stuff. That will mean a lot to me. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.